Hello guys and welcome to another truck guide video and today we are at Watkins Glen International and I'll be using this BMW M6 GT3 car and I think it's probably the best car you can go with the Genesis I think you can achieve similar lap times but in the race and in the qualifying this car performs really really well so yeah that's pretty much about it and without further ado let's get going let's get going with this truck guide video and if you you know, if you like the video, you can even hit the like button or even maybe subscribe to the channel. So the first one is the 200 meter sign and I try to break in the straight line until I reach the second billboard there on the left. And I try to use as less as possible of the trail breaking because I want to carry the speed and it's super important to take the widest possible entry so you can carry the speed all the way down the straight. It's kind of a, it's kind of a section, it's not really a straight, but it's super important to carry as much speed as you possibly can and i just do that by you know getting the latest possible entry into the first turn so here i'm looking at the two uh, no actually i'm looking at the 200 and the 300 but at the 300 you're starting to turn in with about 50 percent of trail breaking and as you land from your first apex then you try to put in at least about 50 or 60% more on the brakes. This will allow the car to stop and you will just get a very, very narrow line. So just before the curb there, I try to brake a little bit. Sometimes if you take a wider line, it's not even necessary to brake. And just when I get to this point, I usually look at the pole or uh, the I love New York uh, box right there. And this is usually my indication to start putting the throttle down. I was a little bit slower than in my best lap, but you know, this was in the end the best. So here at the approximately 150, I'm breaking right there. And I'm always trying to get to the middle of the track. And it's very important to carry the speed and really put the power down quickly. As you can see, even though I went off the circuit, it was okay in the end. So as long as you carry the speed. So just try to put the power down as soon as you can. Here, 100 meter sign. And this is where I use the second gear to rotate the car. And kind of in the middle of the corner, I put the power down, but in third gear. You might get a little bit of a snap just as you exit the turn, but you can kind of release the throttle a little bit. It's not gonna affect your performance, but it's super important once again, to be quick on the power, you can ease off a little bit later. So now in between the 200 and the 100 meter sign, this is where I brake once again, and as late as you possibly can. Once again, second gear, rotating the car, and third gear on the way out. As you can see, I tried putting the power down, and I kind of eased off a little bit to not, not to get too much of that slide in third, car, third gear. So here, 100 meter sign, once again, I'm using the second gear to rotate the car. I think it was a little bit too early, but the exit was pretty good. As you can see, I'm kind of trying to find that limit in the third gear and this corner was really, really good. But now, 100 and then I try to turn in, but I did it a little bit too early and I lost that momentum. But again, it allowed me to carry a little bit extra speed in this section. So kind of had the stopping power at this point. I'm usually looking at the billboard and the exit out of this one was slightly better. I know you can probably get a little bit more out of each section and this lab could potentially yeah, I could potentially go into 40.7. I think 40.6 would be kind of my maximum in this track, but we'll see. But once again, guys, if you like this, you can even push that like button and maybe even subscribe to the channel. So once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.